Operator overloading allows operators to be redefined and used where one or both of the operands are of a user-defined class. When done correctly, this can simplify the code and make user-defined types as easy to use as the fundamental types. In this example, we have a class called minum with an integer field called val and a constructor for setting that field. We also have a static add method that adds two minum objects together and returns the result as a new object. If we create two instances of minum, we can use this method to add them together. What operator overloading does is allow us to simplify this syntax and thereby provide a more intuitive interface for our class. To convert the add method to an overload method for the addition sign, we replace the name of the method with the operator keyword followed by the operator that we want to overload. The white space between the keyword and the operator can optionally be left out. Note that for an operator overloading method to work, it must be defined as both public and static. Since the class now overloads the addition sign, we can use this operator to perform the needed calculation. Addition is a binary operator, that is, it takes two operands. To overload a unary operator, such as the increment operator, we would instead use a single method parameter. Note that this will overload both the postfix and prefix versions of this operator. When overloading a unary operator, the return type and parameter type must be of the containing type. On the other hand, when overloading most binary operators, the return type can be anything except for void and only one of the parameters must be of the containing type. This means that it's possible to further overload a binary operator with other method parameters. For example, to allow a minum and an integer to be added together. c -sharp allows overloading for almost all operators. The combined assignment operators cannot be explicitly overloaded. Instead, they are implicitly overloaded when their corresponding arithmetic or bitwise operators are overloaded. Another thing to keep in mind is that the comparison operators, as well as true and false, must be overloaded in pairs. For example, overloading the equal operator means that we also have to overload the not equal operator. Notice here that true and false are considered operators. By overloading them, we can use objects of the class in conditional statements where the object needs to be evaluated as a boolean type. Keep in mind that when overloading true and false, the return types must be boolean.